Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe so you get notified when we drop more content. Welcome to the fourth screencast in the series on ChangeSet. In this video, we're going to learn how to validate and deploy an inbound change set. You can validate a change set without deploying changes. By validating, you can view the success or failure messages you would receive with an actual deploy. A change set is deployed in a single transaction. If the deployment is unable to complete for any reason, the entire transaction is rolled back. After a deployment completes successfully, all changes are committed to your org and the deployment cannot be rolled back. The first step is to log into the org where the change set was sent to. This is typically named the target or destination org. Click on the gear icon, type change in the quick find box, and click inbound change sets. Click on the change set you want to validate and deploy under Change Sets Awaiting Deployment. I'll click Test V1. It's always best to validate your change set before deploying, especially if there's a large number of components and there is Apex code. It's recommended to perform and validate deployments after business hours, since it may slow the org down. Click Validate. On the next page, choose a test option. Select the appropriate tests needed to run in your org if you have code in the change set. If you have no code in your change set, then select Default, which I will here. Click Validate. Click OK to confirm. On the following page, you can click on the deployment status. You can check if the validation succeeded or failed. Validation ranges depend on how many components are in the org and any processes occurring at the same time. If there are any failures, then there will be a message and it's best to resolve these before deploying. In this example, the validation succeeded. Click View Status to see how many components were deployed, along with the start and end times. Once you've verified the change set, go back to the inbound change set and you can also see the deployment history. Click Deploy. Choose the appropriate test option. I'll select Default, click Deploy, and review the dialog box. Please note that if the deployment fails, all changes are rolled back. If the deployment is successful, the changes cannot be rolled back. Click OK to confirm. On the following page, you can click on the deployment status. You can check if the deployment succeeded or failed. Deployment ranges depend on how many components are in the org and any processes occurring at the same time. If there are any failures, then it will be shown. It's best to review your org for the new components by doing a spot check by looking at the new fields and objects created. In this screencast, the deployment succeeded. Click on View Status to see how many components were deployed, along with the start and end times. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need system administrator permissions. Specifically, the Create and Upload Change Sets, Deploy Change Sets, and Modify Metadata through Metadata API Functions permissions. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.